Hello StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between you Thermal and a laser on the Sun Station, the latter edition. In the bottom right side of the map, we have the Red Zerg player. It is a laser hailing from Poland. And in the top left side of the map, we have the blue Terran player. It is you Thermal, who... Crud, I forgot where he's from. This is so embarrassing. Why do I start... Why would I start saying that? If I didn't know where he was from, because I thought I did. Because I thought I did. Dutch! He is Dutch. Alright, very good. So, this is a TVZ. You haven't seen one of these in a little bit? I don't think. A lot of PVZ, some PVT mixed in there too, some mirror matchups. But TVZ, again, I think pr probably, probably the most favorite matchup on my channel. So this is the Sun Station. It's weird stuff, man. It is really weird stuff. Check this out. Inside, so this is your main base. And it already looks weird. Look at all that space behind your mineral line. That's super odd. Then you have to worry about these rocks that people can break down and kill your stuff. There's another ramp back here you have to worry about. And then this main ramp here too. I just don't know why Protoss and Terran players like this map at all. But apparently it hasn't been, I mean, like super vetoed by players because we see it. We see it popping up. Again, in tournaments, you can only veto maps so much. You kind of choose which ones you want to play first. But by the time Game 6 and Game 7 rolls around, I mean, it just really comes down to uh, whatever is left over. So this is our Reaper. His name, ready for this, is Theophrastus Aurelius Bombastus von Hohenheim. Hohenheim. Holy crap. Hohenheim. Hohenheim. So Theophrastus Aurelius Bombastus von Hohenheim, which is going to go by Para. <laughs> I don't know how Para is short for all of that stuff, but that's what somebody wrote on my channel, so that's what I'm going to go with. This is Para, Para the Reaper. Where are you going, Para the Reaper? Ah, heading out this ramp. All right, going to try to sneak around and possibly try to kill stuff here as a laser did take this gold base. I don't know if it's going to work out for him. You can't really mine here with the Reaper throwing on Kitty 8 charges and killing your drones as you try to saturate it, but that's exactly what your Thermal is going for. Does he know about this? He does know about this. What did he, he must have SCV scouted that or something. Nicely done. So the Reaper shows up and the drones are like, okay, we're out. We are out. We can't mine from here at all. These lings are trying to knock down these rocks so they can go back and save it. This Reaper can actually hit the hatch from this location. How weird. All right, so Queen shows up. Queen is boss here. I think the drones might be safe to mine now. It looks like a laser sending a couple drones over there anyway. Can the queen hit? Oh, everybody gets thrown into the air. Oh, gets a drone kill too. Para with a drone kill. Meanwhile, look at this. More marines coming out for you, Thermal. Pneumatized Carapace coming up for a laser. Possibly planning some drop lord action here. Can the queens hit that reaper? Yes. Can he get charge knocking the queen back again? Trying to kill some lings on these rocks. Not quite able to do it, and the Queen joining in with that DPS. Trying to knock down those rocks. Going to be able to get it here. Para, again, has a single kill to his name, which is a pretty good feeling here. Overlord's in here for the scouting action. A lot of Marines. A lot of Marines, actually. Surprising number of Marines. Factory just now finishing up here. Can he get more than that? Trying to get that drone. Everybody just runs away home. These rocks are almost dead, and these speedlings will make short work of Para in about three seconds. One, two, and three. There it is. Run for your life all you want. Kitty 8 charge knocks everybody, but he dies first. Para is gone. So, moment of silence there for Para. Pretty good harassment there. Did slow down the mining on this base for a good two minutes or so. Didn't really scout, but again, slowing down the economy of the Zerg is definitely worth something. Ling's on up here, trying to get through this wall. A lot of speedlings, actually. A surprising number of speedlings here. Can they get through the supply depot? Not if there are repairs available, and not with Marines on the other side of it, too. Drop Lord, meanwhile. Lasers. Look how much aggression is happening here. Out of the Zerg player. Forcing everybody up here, and then dropping. Dropping right up here, possibly going after the reactor. This is a lot of Ling's by a laser. That income tab, 23 to 20. Actually, not that far back here, Lings. Where do they want to go? Where do they want to go? Can they get through that bunker with the repair that is happening? I don't know that they can. Queen's here too, though. What is happening? Queen's stabbing away. Can they get the bunker? I think they could have gotten it, but they actually decided to run away instead. So that bunker, the hero SCVs. Absolute heroes keeping that bunker alive. Lings running around trying to scout things out now. Ah, there's an Ursodon in your main base these lings knocking down supply depots holy cow a laser this ling aggression is absolutely out of the world right now more and more supply depots are being threatened and exploding here 
Ling's getting into mineral lines. This is uh, lasers up 52 to 32 total supply. Can they get it this time with three queens? No. Nope, the repairs are too dang strong. Euthermal is supply blocked just a little bit. Transfuse is trying to keep stuff alive. Ling's running to their dooms. I can't tell how many kills that bunker has, but it's got to be a lot. It has to be a lot. That base cannot mine either. Euthermal is effectively on one base right now, you guys. It is not looking good at all for our Terran hero. Can they get the tank? No. Can't get the tank. What did they just destroy there, though? Something under construction, possibly? Looks like a refund was given to the Terran player. Tank sets up siege mode. <laughs> Euthermal is so grateful he doesn't have to research siege mode. That is so wonderful. All right, so Euthermal is trapped right now, you guys. Stuck right here. This is his world. Everything we can see is all that he has. I guess those Marines kind of snuck outside a little bit. So he's going Marine. He's going Stim. He's not forgetting about upgrades. He's not freaking out. Orbital Command trying to come this way, but these uh, are... Can you poop creep right now? No, there's not a lair yet. Not quite ready to go. So they can't stop this from landing, but Lings might be able to pull it off. Free tank, free tank. Can they get a surround on the tank? And a lot of Lings are going to die, but they do manage to pick up the siege tank. Queen's back here too, trying to deal with Marines. He's trying to kill SCVs. They do manage to get one of those. Another one, possibly. They are avenging this Ultralisk that has been captured and held prisoner. Meanwhile, Ling's on up here. Again, getting destroyed by Marines. A lot of dead Lings so far, I would say. That's kind of been a characteristic of this game. It's 50 to 28 total harvesters dropping Queens. Is this enough Queens? Nope. I don't think it's enough Queens to deal with this many Marines. Is there a Transfuse available? Transfuse available. Stabity, stab, stab, stab. I just, I don't know. A laser seems to be laying off a little bit here. Yes, this Queen Harass is nice, but... I suppose he's playing the went ahead, get more ahead kind of a thing. The Queen say turnabout is fair play. Your Reaper harassed our gold base, so we're going to do the same thing here. Finally pooping creep. Ooh, you can poop it up there too if you want. If you want. This is free and clear, and yes, that's exactly where you thermal is going. This Queen, this Queen shenaniganry is amazing from a laser. It's 39 to 19 harvesters, but don't give up yet. If you're fans of you thermal, because we've seen Terran players come back, back from more impossible positions than this one. Although I'm not sure if it's been against players as good as a laser, so be cautiously optimistic, Terran fans, is what I would say here. Queens injecting. That's the problem, I guess. No, a lot of queens out, actually. Five. So has been keeping the injects going on at home while doing harassment with the queens. And everybody is that everybody coming home? Spread some creep here. Made sure this gold base could not be taken. Queens could do some junk over the Oh, more creep spread inside his own main base. A laser, you jerk. Can they get the Overlord? They get the Overlord. Will the Creep Tumors finish? Oh, they do finish. Interestingly enough, these Queens defending their own Creep Tumors. This is kind of amazing, actually. And the Marines die. Uh, wow. That's all I'm going to say here is wow. Their attempt to drop on over here does kill three drones. There are roaches out to deal with that, though. Matter of fact, not quite sure where she wants to go. All right, so Tank Marine. Pretty much enough to get rid of those Queens. Boop, and a scan maybe. There's the scan. Creep Tumor's gone too. That Creeper will recede fairly quickly. Euthermal does drop his Marines down here. They have Stim and no other upgrades. And picking up and boosting out as is tradition for Terrans. I'd like to see a Spire out of a laser. Just shut these drops down. Don't let them bother you. Don't let them kill workers because you're too slow to respond with these Roaches. These Roaches are not too slow. Although they were actually. Did they? Wow, that pickup actually saved a Marine. You see that Acid Saliva come out and the Marine got picked up. I saw it. I saw it happen. I don't know about you. Continuing creep spread is a laser. Surprised he's not moving up into the main base now, but what else? Overlord scouts on in, sees exactly what is going on, and does manage to escape with his life. No! As his blood falls down into these cooling tubes, or whatever the heck is down there. Roach attack. Past second thoughts. Decides to head on back home. Unit composition. 25 roaches and 3 queens. A laser trying to do this thing with roach. I mean, he's up 118 to 66 total supply, so... He can pretty much do whatever he wants right here. Ravager's mixed in as well. And more and more drones. Income tab. Look at you, Thermal, come back, though. 36 to 48 harvesters. He was down 2 to 1 just a couple of minutes ago. Hopefully a laser can... I mean, I don't want to really want to root for anybody, but having that much of an advantage and then dropping the game, even against a Terran, is not a good feeling. Not a great feeling. Where is that tank? Are there any corrosive vials available to get rid of it? And yes... Not quite killing it, though. There it goes. This base under full evacuation. Another tank back there trying to save it. The splash is actually a little bit insane right now. Siege tank does have three kills of its own. Can the medevac save the tank? No! 
It does not save the tank. But look at this. Attacks up here, Bayou Thermal. Attacks over here. Bayou Thermal. Roach is trying to deal with this thing. Could uh, you Thermal turn this thing into a base race situation? That would be absolutely crazy pants. If he could. I mean, 102 to 65 total supply. U Thermal is doing damage. He killed 23 workers. He now has a worker lead on his opponent. I mean, mind you, he is... I guess he did replant his first base. I was going to say, he's down. He's down a base, but not really. He's still on two bases. 105 to 69 total supply. Still no Spire. Tunneling Claws on the way. Zerg Ground Carapace level 1 coming up to and Burrow. So Burrow Roach is what a laser is going for. I just... I'd like a Spire... I like Aspire. Just make four or five Corruptors. Just enough to deal with these pesky Medivacs. And I think you'll be okay, but... As it stands, a laser allowing the drops to do pretty much whatever they want. Again, losing 23 drones is not a good feeling. Plus two missile attack has finished for a laser, which is a good feeling. So kind of balancing things out. Plus one, plus one has been completed on these Marines and Marauders, though. Another attempt to drop here by you, Thermal. Where is he going to go with this thing? And I don't think anybody knows the answer to that quite yet. Possibly angling for this base. There are some roaches ready to go. I do like that a laser does have little hit squads. Uh, I guess they're more defense squads. If drops do come back, they have to deal with roaches and ravagers on the ground. Which uh, which is not an easy proposition for anybody, really. Marines, a couple of them do die. The drop does not go super well for you, Thermal. Roaches, Ravagers, and again, the range on the Ravagers is very useful. Six range compared to, is it the four on the Roach? Yeah, it's four. I mean, that extra two managers are, deals a lot here. Some Roaches trying to do some stuff, getting cleaned up very well. Infestation Pit coming up for a laser, 126 to 87 total supply in favor of the Zerg player. Again, the Zerg player has been in this position for pretty much the entire game. Uh, he's up to 57 to 31 total harvesters, but he hasn't been able to quite seal the deal. Creep Tumor's finally getting cleared out. I mean, I feel like a laser dropped these ages ago, but better late than never. Overlord live. No, one Overlord is destroyed. These Marines, there's no room for them, but they managed to hoof it back home anyway on top of Creep, which is not a good feeling. Another base coming up for a laser. Technically inside your... Wait, did he just expand here? He just expanded here inside his own main. That's really weird. He goes here first and then here. Interestingly enough, ah, oh, the Burrow Roach, the Burrow Roach, the positioning of these tanks makes it difficult, but bam, one tank, two tanks die immediately, one does manage to get saved here, the scan comes up, the Roaches can't really burrow and escape, might as well try to kill as much as they possibly can, and there's the Burrow, but like I said, the scan revealing their location very, very well, in addition, this missile turret is very useful for that, here comes a push with Marines, with Stim, a lot of drones gonna die here, three drones, very quickly, can they get the hatch before the roaches? Yes, they do. They force a cancel on the hatchery. Bit of a refund given another drop back here by you Thermal. Killing more and more stuff. Still, refusal to build a spire out of a laser. A laser, come on, man. If you lose this thing because you refuse to deal with drops, I'm going to be mad. There are infestors, which is nice. I guess you could do some fungal bile action on these drops. It's just not as, not as consistently effective as my personal concern. Drop in here. The Ursodon says, what you fools doing here, man? I don't know, but you're going to get absolutely melted by those roaches if you're not careful. Killing more and more creep spread. APM for these guys is over 300, closer to 4 right now. I mean, they're playing out of their minds, dealing damage with drops. Defending against Burrow Roach stuff. Trying to defend against drops here, too. Marines are just so versatile, man. So darn versatile. And Euthermal says, when the army shows up, I go back home. I'm going to go ahead and try to whittle my way back into this game. It's still 161 to 89 total supply. Army supply is 59 to 114. But Euthermal is no slouch, man. Look at this. He's threatening this base once again. Ah, oh, trying to burrow, but boom. Oh, bam, bam, bam. Just beautiful. How many drones has he killed? 40 drones. Euthermal has killed 40 drones in this game, you guys and gals. All right, so a laser is now getting a hive. I guess those were burrowed ravagers. It's kind of weird to see that. I'm not sure if the hive... I guess ultras would be good in this situation just because it's very marine heavy. For you, Thermal, 33 marines and four tanks, and that is it. That is the it right now. You, Thermal, pushing out. He's got his marines. He's got his tanks. He's going to try to land his command center here, but guess what? There's creep. I don't know what this queen is doing, but she's going to die. I don't know where she was. How long... Gotta clear that creep tumor. Scan it up, man. Are you out of scans? 
Is that the problem here? He is out of scans. That would explain it. Here comes a laser pushing up with Roach Raptor and Fester. Can he get a good fungal off? He does the fungal bile. Doing some good work too. Doesn't actually kill any of the medevacs though, but that's a okay. A laser continuing to push through here. Can he kill the tanks? He's moving up the ramp. Tanks on the high ground being dealt with. One does manage to survive, but the laser just crushing through right now. Killing tanks wherever he sees them. The Marines aren't really doing that much damage. Good dodge. By Euthermal, though, but this is a pretty substantial army inside his main base, and that's it. A GG from Euthermal. Euthermal is defeated, and a laser is victorious. Well done. Well done, indeed. All right, so good job by a laser. Uh, early aggression does pay off. <coughs> Excuse me for him. And Euthermal did his best to come back, but he couldn't actually quite do that. And uh, let's go ahead and move on into the next game. This has been Falcon Paladin, bringing you another daily Legacy of the Void upload. You can find me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.